The most ancient sites to be found here upon our planet were often created using enormous, erosion-resistant megalithic stones. This use of enormous stone being the reason why many of these structures have indeed survived the eons. And, although the actual methods used to move such stones has been lost to history, their existence, and indeed their placement, remains a testament to our lost ancestors' past capabilities. According to modern science, or more specifically, the known laws of physics, many of these stone blocks defy understanding. And although little is known regarding the true builders of such sites, places such as Puma Punku still possesses many megalithic blocks, which display the extraordinarily advanced, astonishing feats of block building and precision carving, which we believe were left by a people who flourished an incredibly long time ago. Enormous, precision carved, precisely placed andesite blocks still litter the site. Their existence is undeniable, yet highly controversial. Therefore, predictably, many of these sites are either quietly investigated or simply ignored, successfully concealing unexplained feats of past engineering. Some of the most visited sites on Earth contain megalith blocks walked past or over without a second thought every day. These stones, however, hold the secret to unraveling the currently attested historical inaccuracies, for they do indeed exist, cannot be shifted, and fly in the face of the incomplete history academics are attempting to teach as fact. These same individuals simply fall silent when asked to explain how their currently attested builders of said sites, be it Roman, Inca, Mayan, Egyptian, etc., actually built such structures using such enormous blocks. Additionally, regardless of these said individuals' apparent qualification to speak on such matters, when one presents any compelling evidence, such as erosion patterns, machine tool marks, highly advanced building techniques, be it anything solid which indicates a far more superior, far older civilization as the true constructors, their lack of true knowledge regarding their apparent specialist subjects always becomes apparent. Additionally, these selected, submissive, often subsequently authoritatively placed individuals have never had the experience to explore such controversial evidence, or indeed, the indicative possibilities attached thereof. This means that, although their knowledge of permitted history is substantial, their overall knowledge regarding the past, and indeed its possible past inhabitants, will always be severely limited. Yet, fortunately, although it may sometimes feel like an eternal battle, in the end, the truth is always found.